Tatcha, soul care cream, cause we're not gonna. <laughs> there it goes. Bare minerals, bare bro. Mark Jacobs uh, bronzer. Bare minerals, gen nude. <laughs> yeah, it's messy. Okay, now my eyebrows. Oh my god, I use this color pop. This is the masterpiece all day Maybelline. There. My mascara one. Woo! Golly freckles. French kiss. Taupe by Mac. It's a little bit too pink. Does my makeup look be See ya. Welcome to part two of me reviewing King Beauty palette. Here's what the whole palette looks like. I mean, I have no words to explain this. Beauty. First, I'm gonna go ahead and take this dark brown and place it in the outer corner of my eye. So far, this color is very pigmented. Now, blending out the dark brown with this lighter one. These colors blend out so beautifully as well. Now, using a smaller brush, I'm going to place this orange shade into the inner corner. Next, I'm going to place this beautiful shimmer all over my lid. The shimmers are definitely not the most beautiful ones I've ever used, but with a little bit of a setting spray, they do look very beautiful. And I'm going to place an orange shimmer right next to that gold one. Now for my lower lash line, I'm going to mix these two colors and make it pop. Alright, so here's the final look and I love it. And honestly, if you ever decide to buy this palette, I don't think you'll ever need to buy any other palette in your life. Because as we already learned, this palette has everything you need.
for greatness in a sea of the dying of shame. Yeah. I got black, I got white. Your blush can change the shape of your face. Show you chill, Nikki, cause that's how you deal with me When they knock my blocks down, you come and you build with me Even though you real busy, you said fucking real drizzy It's so amazing I figured out this world is ours for the taking I figured out that when I go out and those people scream That some of them are living vicariously through me That's why I put that S on my chest and I'm corn <laughs> Side of the pickup, I just got Morty and Rick. Uh, he got me horny and ripped. Uh, like I just walked out the gym and the bitches has got it because I took their gym. Give him a job and he gave me a rim. It was too long, so he gave me a min. How is that possible? Give me a Kim. I can't describe it, just give me a pin. And why he ain't gonna tell me about mine and my ribs? Turn him to a dummy because I got him stepping. Watch it, think it's funny. Tell you I get the dick and turn into a zombie. It's funny and clean. If anyone's wanting to know how to get revenge on someone who spread rumors about you, listen to this story and it may come in handy. So I had a friend that we can call Miranda who was obsessed with me. I was genuinely friends with her, but she would never give me a break. I could not get a breather from her at any point in time. Everywhere I went, she went. And this girl would actually get so upset with me anytime I would go over to another friend's house. I knew she was really insecure and just trying to get attention, so I tried to be patient with her. However, one day I just could not take it anymore. I got into a massive fight with her over how overprotective she is. I literally said, you are a stage five clinger. And in response, this girl ended up joining my basketball and softball team, which I've been on for forever. She told her mom that I was bullying her, which was a complete lie, but then her mom went to the coaches. She got me kicked off the team and then continued to spread rumors about me. I ended up losing my best friends and even my boyfriend over the rumors that she spread about me. So that's when I decided to get revenge. So I decided that I was gonna send her over an apology gift with makeup in it, which was a mix of drugstore items and poison ivy. Something will go wrong, I swear. Ruffians, thugs, poison ivy, quicksand, cannibals and snakes, the plague. No. Yes, Wait. also large bugs, men with pointy teeth and stop no more, you'll just upset me. Mother's right here. Mother will protect you. Darling, here's what I suggest. Skip the drama, stay with mama. Mother knows best. Sunshine in a bag, I'm useless, but not for long. The future is coming on. I ain't happy. Hold up, hold up, hold up, Diddy. Hit him with part two, son.
door. That felt like clickbait, but it's true. Now, one of the reasons I'm comfortable with it is because I can easily get into that door even if it is locked. However, if it is locked, I leave it locked unless it's urgent. If it's not urgent, I just use our special knock pattern and then she knows it's me and she'll let me in herself. She's got rules for locking her door, like she has to tell me first and let me in if I need her. But why would a nine-year-old ever need to lock her door? That's a great question and the answer is privacy. She's got two little sisters and sometimes she wants to be able to do big kid stuff like build a Lego set or read or write and she doesn't want to be bothered and I think that's okay. We have great communication and I trust her so it's no problem for me. My little ones get privacy too. My thought is if you're old enough to ask to be alone you deserve the space to be alone. But the little ones can't lock the door. When they're little they have more of a supervised privacy and that turns into a more independent privacy. I remember when I was a teen my parents were like what do you need privacy for and they didn't trust me so they cemented my window shut and took my door. Despite their efforts I continued to do whatever I wanted without their knowledge. As they became more strict I became more sneaky. They weren't trying to parent they were trying to control. So I'm teaching my kids independence and giving them room to be themselves and together we're building a foundation of communication and mutual respect. I believe if I do a good job then I'll always be able to trust them. I think this is incredibly important because someday before they're grown up the voice in their head will become louder than mine and they're gonna do what they want and I want them to want to do good and feel safe coming to me when they make mistakes. <laughs>